Hello friends and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can acquire Gara. Now a few things to note before we get started. You need to be in the Beast Mastery form and to acquire this, it's going to take you about an hour. Still interested, I see. All right, let me show you how this heist is going to go down. All right, let me break this down for you. This is going to be a 12 part heist. We're going to start out in Drenor, and we're going to go to Shadow Moon Valley. Near the bottom left of the map, you'll see this area. This is where you want to head to first. This is step one, locating Gara. Step one, you want to locate Gara and speak with the wolf. When you speak with Gara, it's going to ignore you. That's okay. This is the first part of starting off this whole entire chain of events. You have to do everything in order, so just keep that in mind. Now that you've talked to Gara and Gara has ignored you, let's go on to step two. That brings us to step two. We're going to locate and defeat Mother Omra and receive a shadow berry. To locate her, you just want to fly straight north off of Gara, and you'll locate a circle off to the left. You won't be able to attack her right off of the bat. You'll have to end up killing the NPCs around her. Let me show you where that's at on the map. So you'll be right here. You want to go ahead and defeat the ones that are casting on top of her, and then you will be able to attack her directly. Once you have defeated her, you want to go ahead and loot the body, and you want to grab the shadow berry. Now set that off to the side. This is very important because we are going to take this right back to Gara, and that's going to be step three. So let me show you. Step three, speak with Gara again. Once you speak with Gara, it'll end up perking up the pup just a little bit, and then we can jump in to the next parts. This is going to require some traveling, so fasten your seatbelts and let's see what we have to do. We're going to travel over here to the Spires of Ark, and we are looking for Sethic Prophets. It's only going to take one, but we need just one in order to acquire our next item. Step four will be defeating a Sethic Prophet and loot an Elder Incense. Here's one, and we got it. All right, now keep that safely in your bags. We're gonna go to step five. The location for step five is we're heading to Talardor and we're going to look for a Gorebound Legionnaire. This location is in the bottom left of this area right here. Step five, defeat a Gorebound Legionnaire and loot a wooden bowl. So again, you just wanna fly over here and you wanna locate one of them. Just kinda of hover your mouse over, see? There's one. Let's get that wooden bowl. Keep that safely in your bag and I'll show you where to go for step six. You're gonna to wanna to make your way to Negran and you're going to look for a Warsong Marauder. Now this actually isn't too far from where you're at. It's located in the right corner of the screen, right bottom corner. All right, let's make our way over there and I'll show you what you need to do for step six. Step six, you wanna defeat a Warsong Marauder and loot a small fruit. Now these ones are gonna be the guys running around on mounts. Just go ahead and kill them and get your fruit. I ended up with two, you only need one, so don't worry. All right, let me show you where step seven's located at. For step seven, we're gonna head to Frostfire Ridge and we are going to locate a Thunderlord Giant Slayer. This is gonna be located in the bottom right corner right here. And I'll show you what we need from them. Step seven, you have to defeat a Thunderlord Giant Slayer and loot an ancient bone. So you're gonna come to this location and just locate one of those NPCs and fire upon will and loot them. Once you find one of these, somewhere around here, ah, there we go. You're gonna fire upon them and loot the ancient bone. And now let me show you where location eight is going to be at. Still located in Frostfire Ridge, you're gonna head up to the top left corner all the way up here, and you're gonna look for a necrophyte. Step eight, you need to defeat a necrophyte and loot a torn cloth. These are gonna be the guys kind of standing around in a circly area. He's gonna yell, you're too late. Well, not really. We're here to get your cloth and that's it. We don't care what you're up to right now. 
So now that we have our torn cloth, let's go to step nine. We're almost done gathering everything. For step nine, you're gonna head to Gore Ground and you're gonna locate this area on the map. It's kind of in the center of this area. And you're gonna find a dry wind bone picker. For step nine, you're gonna defeat a dry wind bone picker and loot a crude effigy. That's these guys right here. You got your crude effigy? All right. Now for step 10. Step 10, you're gonna go back to Gara and you're gonna combine all of the items together. You're going to open your bag and you're going to right click on the crude effigy. That will end up combining all of the items together and you'll end up getting a spirit effigy. You wanna walk towards the big giant stone and you wanna right click the spirit effigy and it'll end up starting a little cutscene for you. Some dialogue, just go ahead and let that all play out. The big purple dude clearly did not like you meddling in anything and he is gonna take the spirit of Gara. But don't worry, I'll show you what to do in order to get him back. Step 11, we're gonna stay in Shadow Moon Valley and we're gonna head over to this location on the left hand side. We are gonna be looking for a Shadow Moon Void Twisters. Step 11, you must defeat a Shadow Moon Void Twister and loot a Void Lantern. Just kind of find one of those guys, book him in the snoot, and steal his stuff. All right, we have a Void Lantern. Now for the final step, step 12. Staying within Shadow Moon Valley, you're gonna come over to this location on the right hand side and you're going to locate a dead tree. Step 12 has a couple of parts to it. So the first part is after you've located the tree is to use the void lantern. Then you wanna locate the sword in the tree and click it. It's gonna be up in the hollow, kinda right there. You don't need to do anything special, you're able to reach it from the ground. So that sword right there, you wanna go ahead and click it. This will bring you into the void realm and you'll have Spirit of Gara helping you out. You'll want to kill Elder of Void Callers or Elder of Void Lords. You'll have to kill a bunch of these until the boss ends up showing up. Once Zahn, or AKA the purple dude, shows up, go ahead and kill him. Once he's defeated, you'll end up having a story dialogue pop up. Once the story dialogue is finished, you must tame Gara. If you do not tame Gara after all of this hard work that you've done and you exit out of being in the void phase, you've messed up. You can't come back in here and tame her later. So go ahead and tame her. And there you go. That's how you acquire Gara. I know this isn't the easiest pet to acquire, but it's by far not the hardest to acquire. There is much worse out there, I'm sure. But I hope that you ended up finding this video helpful and you are able to obtain your own Gara. It's worth all of the steps required. If you have a suggestion for a future Hunter Pet video, go ahead and leave it down in the comments and I'll put it on the list of videos to make. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and I look forward to seeing you in the next Hunter Pet video. Have a good one.